Welcome back to another video of Cursed Mining and today we are taking a first look at the Octominer B8 Plus motherboard. I know I'm late to the Octominer party and I've had it for some weeks now but well the channel did not exist yet and it was one of many reasons pushing me forward to finally pull the trigger. So thank you very much for being a part of it and tuning in. So while we take a look at the packaging first I want to tell you that this is not a sponsored video. I bought the motherboard myself out of interest and I paid it in Litecoin earned by my L3 Plus. So that's the first thing I want to share with you today is the awesome feeling you have when your own mining actually pays for building out your own farm and diversifying further. So I was among batch 1 of the first boards so ordering in itself was a risk. I normally only use the same trusted shops if I use any shops at all. But you can never learn or get something new if you don't risk it from time to time. So if you follow the channel, you get to see what comes out of this experiment. As you saw, the motherboard was very well packaged. I removed an anti-static plastic that was wrapped in, as well as quick start guide and a cable for SATA hard drives, but more on that later. It arrived safely in the middle of Europe with DHL Express. Overlook and specs. Let's take a look at the board. The first thing I noticed was this. And I thought, oh no, I damaged the heatsink already, come on. But no, I noticed something seems to be peeling off and plugging off the CPU fan first, you can now see me fumbling around to free it from this plast kind of plastic wrap. And actually I think this could potentially be dangerous because it was nowhere mentioned and if I hadn't seen what I thought was damaged, I probably would have left the blue plastic on. I will inform you how hot the CPU and the heatsink gets in use, but this is still a potential danger and it should have been written somewhere, at least in a quick start guide for example. But also no worries, I saw the little chunk left on the bottom and I took it away off camera. Let's take a look at the connectors. We have some basic slots like VGA, a USB.2 header, two USB slots, an Ethernet NIC and on the other side we have our sodium RAM slot. That means the same RAM that would go into a laptop, as well as a SATA connector, which we won't need, and the header for our case or power buttons. So an Intel 3855U CPU is included, which is a mobile CPU and should be more than enough. But to run our Octominer, we still need RAM and some sort of drive. I know many people like SMOS or HiveOS with USB sticks, but to be honest, I'm an old-fashioned Windows guy, for now at least. Since I wanted to do a full Octomine experiment, I also ordered the other parts with them. And to be honest, for me this was almost a small red flag how competitive these prices were. You know, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. But everything checked out. So here you can see my personal quick start guide on how to install all the parts, starting with RAM. It doesn't get easier than that. There's only one way it can go in. You wait for a little clack, push it down until you hear another clack, and that's it. I chose an 120 gigabyte M.2 drive because I'll have less cables to deal with than with an SSD and also mind that only the smaller, so normally older M.2 fits, so not the ones you know from your modern workstation or from your gaming PC. Installing the M.2 is pretty similar, we just unscrew the little screw right there, don't drop it like I did, and in with the M.2. Again, only one way possible and then we screw it down again. That's for the basics. Octominer themselves have released a long and complete guide on how to set up and build with the boards as well as their cases and I will link the video in the upper right corner for you. Advantages An obvious advantage is the all-in-one package deal Octominer offers. You don't need to buy parts separately like CPU and risers and the pricing is pretty competitive. It's simply a different style of building rigs. And many people argued that it's possible to find these riserless boards cheaper on sites like AliExpress etc. But there's one important difference. Octominer has put their name on it. So we have one instance of quality control and customer service in between which we normally don't have with services like Alibaba or at least it can become very difficult. With Octominer we have one year of warranty and for now I have only positive things to say about the customer service. So there can be delays in answering because they are swamped from time to time, but I still got all my questions answered. 
an advantage or disadvantage depending on your building style is that the board is made to be directly powered by a server PSU. This means we don't have our usual 24 pin uh, motherboard connector but everything is powered with 6 pins. No problem if you still want to use an ATX power supply you just have to jump the motherboard cable but I'm pretty happy with my HP server power supply so for me it's a definite advantage. Disadvantages. So what is part of the biggest advantages might become a problem as well. You have everything in one piece. So at first I was worried about the CPU and the heatsink, but a big shout out to Son of Attack here who generally does a great job, but he took it on himself to pull the fan and the thermal paste off to take a look at the CPU. I'll link his video in the top right corner. So if the fan was to die, we could still improvise. The PCIe lanes are something else. The big advantage here is that you, we don't need risers because risers can get faulty. But that's also an advantage because they can be easily changed. So if we run into a dead PCIe lane here and we would be after the one year warranty by Octominer, we would either need to repair it or accept a dead slot, which is not perfect. <laughs> and as with Ordinary motherboards, you can't just let your 8 cards hang solely in the PCIe slot. At least I wouldn't, especially with heavier cards. Also in terms of cooling, the cards will be very close together. This means we need some sort of external cooling solution. We either need to build something or look for a server style case solution. For the sake of this experiment, I ordered the case which Octomine is offering as well, but I ordered it after I received the motherboard, just to be safe. It will be covered on this channel as soon as it gets here since the cases are on back order at the moment. To conclude, all in all I'm already pleased with this experiment and I think I received a powerful package. Of course we have to take a deeper look as soon as we build with it and you'll notice that most coverage we can find online for now are only initial reviews and first looks like this one and we have not had many long-term experiences since this is a new product. So if you're interested to see what comes out of the Octomider experience please be sure to subscribe. Thank you very much for tuning in again and have a nice week. Bye! <laughs>